It's only 20 minutes, but I think it's the toughest 20 minutes you will ever see. $8,000 on the line. So let's meet our competitors. Then we'll meet our judges. Here we go. In wall number one, William Tyler from Arch Masonry Incorporated. Working on wall number two, Carlos Cruz from Frank Smith Masonry. Wall number three, Michael Alves from A&M Masonry. Number four, Keith White, Stone Lake Masonry. Number five, Gerardo Patlin from Sutter Masonry. Number six, Adrian Tena from G&G &G Enterprises. Number seven, David Reinerson from Sterling Masonry. Number eight, Arcadio Armenta from Sutter Masonry. Number nine, Sepuloni Tulamayu from SAI Construction. And if I butchered that name, I apologize. Number 10, Jake Borman from Keystone Masonry. Hang on a second. Before we introduce any more competitors, ma'am, you're awfully loud. Why? I was born that way. Uh, are you kind of any relation to those folks? Uh, we got a little bit of blood and mud in this. Uh. I bet you blood and mud. I love the way you took care of that right there. Stall number 11, Jose Martinez from Stone Cold Masonry. Number 12, Howard Cole with New Way Incorporated. Number 13, Jose Soto from Sargon Masonry. Number 14, Uriel Medrano from M&G Masonry. Number 15, Jack Sommerfeld from Sommerfeld & Sons Party Limited. Number 16, Alfredo Cardenas from Pioneer Masonry. Number 17, Mike Cañez III with CJS Enterprises. Number 18, David Chavez from Ranch Masonry. And in 19 and 20 from Fairweather Masonry, Dante Dixon and Shane Riff. Let's have a nice hand for all our competitors. Let's do this. Crowd, are you ready? I want to see every Mason trowel up in the air, if you please. Good to go. Judges, if you are ready to go. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Give me 20 minutes on the clock if you Oh, you can see it on the Jumbotron. Good luck, crowd. Count it down with me. DJ Dougie D, get ready for some quick tunes. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's block.
checking the clock right now. I'm looking at the Jumbotron. We got a uh, little over 16 minutes left, and uh, there's a lot of block out there. And this is Jack Ross. He is with AZ Best Block. And exactly, Jack, how much block are we talking? What was delivered out here? Just for the fastest trial, we delivered about 8,000 block just in this section alone, besides the other areas. So, I mean, that, that's just ridiculous as far as what these guys are doing right here, isn't it? Oh, it's incredible. If you've never been to this, this is an exciting, uh, just an event that you get to see the skills and the workmanship that's involved in these things. These guys are, are it's a work of art. It's hey, incredible. how's AZ Best Block doing, man? You guys are a great sponsor. We appreciate all you do. What's new, man? We're doing great. We're coming out with some new architectural finishes and some block. We're looking at uh, really going after some of the commercial market. Things are fantastic. That's good. We love it, and we appreciate everything you're doing out here. And uh, Bob Thomas over there. Bob is, of course, with the NCMA, and uh, Brian, the MCA. We learned a few things about that over there. But, Bob, what's going on, man? How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. I mean, when I'm out here on a day like today, you know, nothing could be better. To see these guys out here humping and working hard, you know, this is just a fabulous thing to see. And I, I don't mean to say anything bad to my friend Jack here, you know, but a concrete block is just basically a paperweight until you get these guys that can put it together into a wall system. So these guys are true craftsmen, and they're demonstrating right. their skill. Here's fun to watch. Isn't absolutely, it? absolutely. Very exciting. Yeah. Now, you know, when they first came up with the idea for this competition for something like that, these guys slinging block for 20 minutes like that, I mean, I'm wondering what these guys going through their mind. I mean, that's, they're putting up 120 block in 20 minutes. You just don't do that. Not at all. And, and you got to think about some of the other items be, besides it. As you heard in the, in the uh, intro, they're not just slinging block. They're talk, talking plumb, level, their, their voids, their joints, their, everything involved. It's got to be a sellable wall. And, just the, the ability that they have in, in 20 minutes is incredible. You know, and we talk about, you know, tenders being a big part of the 500. They're also a big part here because, I mean, there's a lot of money on the line. Absolutely, and the tenders play as big a role, if not bigger. If the block's not there for the mason to grab and do what he needs to do when he needs to do it, they fall behind. Bob, what's new with the NCMA? I know we talked with Nick a little bit earlier, but uh, give us a different kind of update. What's happening with the NCMA? Yeah, we got some great things going on. Of course, we're still trying to make sure that the designers out there have all the tools and resources that they need to build with. Uh, with concrete masonry. We're doing all sorts of research and development. We've got a nice new display out here, courtesy of, uh, of some of our friends at Pavestone that have helped us put up an outdoor living display. We want to make sure that contractors in the industry know different ways that they can that they can make some money in this industry. And so the hardscape side of this is just another avenue to it. So we're proud to work with uh, segmental retaining walls in a partnership with the Interlocking Concrete Pavement Institute and uh, as well with manufactured stone. So uh, come see us over there. And I appreciate the the fact that that dump truck will have all that stuff delivered to my home by the time I get back. Absolutely. Yeah, the wife is absolutely thrilled. I just wanted to let you know. Do we have to deliver it with snow? Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, we'll do that. Checking the clock. We got a little over 13 minutes left here on the fastest trail on the block. What do you say we play a little music? Let these boys have at it. Sound good? Sounds great. Thank all you. Right, crowd, what do you think? How are we doing down there? there? Come on. I don't know if we're going to hit 130 block today. We haven't done it yet, but let's give it a shot. Little less than 13 minutes. DJ Dougie D, let's crank it up. Let's play some music for the.
Welcome back to the MCAA's Fastest Trial on the Block. My name is Tom Clark. I am your host for Masonry Madness here in Las Vegas. We're out in the gold lot. What a gorgeous day. You can't beat it. The crowds are heavy. It is five deep standing around right now. They're making a lot of noise over there on stall number 20. I'm not sure why, but we're going to have to check out that girl over there with the burgundy cap. They do, man. I'm telling you what. We had the Canadians over here. She's getting fired up. That lady in the green jacket over there. I'm telling you what. Everybody's excited about what's going on right now. Uh, it is. You got to get madness. Now, uh, DJ Dougie D, I want you to be ready, not just yet, because we're going to let these boys go to the end when the clock gets down to zero. Have something ready for me when I call it, but right now we want to talk about the prizes. $8,000 in cash, you get a $500 product gift certificate from Steel. Steel. And then Gatorback, of course, a 10-pack of mortarboards. That's what the guys are using right there. And then the tender also gets a Marshalltown tool bag. You get the trowel, the margin trowel, tape measure, beaver tail brush, joiner, and tuck pointer. So everybody's going to get a little something. Not a bad payday. No, and even second prize. Oh, that's third prize. You get $1,500 in cash. There's Jim O'Connor helping me out. Thank you, Jim. Second prize. Second prize is going to get $2,500 in cash. And then you get the Marshalltown tool bag, the $300 product certificate from Steel, and then a second place trophy. And as I said, third place, $1,500, a $100 gift certificate from Steel, and the third place trophy. So there's a lot on the line for you the first love, three teams. You got to love these sponsors, folks. They're the ones making all this happen for you. You get this cash in this, all the materials out here. So round of applause for all of our sponsors. For getting this for event started for us. All right, we got just four minutes on the clock. DJ WD, I need three minutes and 55 seconds worth of rock right now. Let's take these guys home to zero. Crowd, let's hear it for them. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Make it loud, Dougie. Make it loud.
One, trials down! Let's have a nice hand for all our competitors right there. Man, I see a lot of stacked up walls, a lot of courses run. Let's see if anybody hit the 120 plus mark, Brian. It's highly possible. We have it, a great, great competitor list this year. Really tough guys up there. Good stuff. Now here's the way it goes. They're gonna get a two minute rest period and then they're gonna be allowed to tool for four minutes. I think they're just about ready right now. Um, judges, if you are ready, if we can put four minutes on the clock behind us over there, they're gonna have four minutes to begin their tooling. And once that four minutes is done, that's it. The judge will go to work, and then at the end of the day, we'll see who is the fastest trowel on the block. So Big Nick, I'm gonna turn it over to you, make sure the judges are in good shape. I see Jim O'Connor over there. He's keeping an eye on everything as well. Four minutes. Four minutes, DJ Dougie D. There's four minutes on the clock right behind us, Brian. I'm gonna count it down. Uh, Masons and tenders, if you got your trials up, if you guys are ready to go, here we go in five, four, three, two, one, go. DJ Dougie D, four minutes on the clock, the tool. Good luck. All right, we got about a minute 40 left, a little bit less than that. Guys, start finishing up those walls, checking the clock right now. I've got a minute 30, one minute and 30 seconds left.
down. That's it. Let's have a nice hand for all our competitors. The fastest trowel on the block is officially toast. In third place for the fastest trowel on the block with a third place trophy, the steel $100 product certificate, the Marshalltown tool bag containing a trowel, margin trowel, tape measure, beaver tail, brush, jointer, and tuck pointer, along with $1,500 in cash with a block count of 100 and 13 from Sutter Masonry, Arcadio Armenta. A check two years in a row, last year's champion, third place, congratulations, gentlemen. In second place, they're going to get a steel $300 product certificate, the Marshalltown tool bag containing the trowel, margin trowel, tape measure, the beaver tail brush, jointer, and tuck pointer, and the check will be for $2,500 in cash with a block count of $119 from Sargon Masonry, Jose Soto. Congratulations, guys. Looks like you brought a bag right there for all the cash. I like that. Our first place winner, the tender, will receive a Marshalltown tool bag containing a trowel, margin trowel, tape measure, beaver tail brush, jointer, and tuck pointer. Our Mason will get the first place trophy, a 10-pack of Gatorback mortar boards, a steel $500 product gift certificate, also, the Marshalltown Ceremonial Trowel Trophy, along with the bag including everything that the tender got, and then a check for $8,000 in cash. And I know Mark Kemp, that's getting a little heavy over there, so I'm going to announce the winner. From Stone Cold Masonry, Jose Martinez. Oh yeah, I'd be happy too. You can't beat that smile. Congratulations guys, nicely done. Congratulations to all our winners for the fastest trial on the block.